Consider this, an average teacher asks 400 questions each day, roughly 70,000 questions each year, or 2 to 3 million questions over a teaching career. That means teachers spend a third of their time asking questions, yet most of the questions teachers pose are answered in less than a second. So how can we make the questions that we do ask our students effective enough to guide students to understanding? Creating and asking questions that allow teachers to elicit, interpret, adjust instruction, and inform feedback is something that we do daily. Pre-planning questions strategically helps students understand what they are thinking about during their learning and guides teachers on how to support students during it. However, sometimes teachers are unsure of what types of questions will help guide students in their learning. WCPS has many tools that can aid teachers when they are trying to create questions for their instruction, as well as tools that can help teachers support students during their learning. Today, we're going to look at School City and Formative. School City is a great tool to locate pre-created questions. After you log into School City, you will need to find the item banks. Item banks is another word for questions and passages. There are many different banks here that offer different types of questions. The best part of the item bank is that you are able to filter the types of questions you're looking for. If you select the number of items, you will find short answer or multiple choice questions. And if you select number of passages, you will find short, nonfiction, or fictional passages that allow students to have a constructed response. Find the bank that you're interested in looking at and select the number beside it. Take a minute to pause this video so that you are able to work along during the rest of the module. In your current browser, go to File and open a new tab. Then go to the WCPS portal where you can click on the Quick Links tab to locate School City. Once you have located School City, please log in and a dashboard will appear. From your dashboard, select Item Banks and then pick a bank that you would like to explore. Once you are ready, hit play to continue to work through the rest of the module. From this page, you are able to select a more filtered question by selecting a particular subject, grade, standard, a difficulty level, depth of knowledge, or Bloom's taxonomy, which allows you to select questions strategically in order to get kids to think deeper about their learning. Once you have set your filters and clicked Find Matching Items, all of the questions that meet that criteria will appear below. From here, you can simply copy the question, go to Edit, Copy, and then open a new document from Word or Docs and just simply paste it. Now that you have used School City to find higher order questions, take a minute to reflect on the question above. What tools does School City provide for you to select questions that promote deep thinking and understanding? A. Difficulty level, B. Bloom's taxonomy level, C. DOK level, or D. All of the above. If you selected D, all of the above, you are correct. The second tool that we are going to explore is one that can be used to ask and elicit questions from students. Formative is a fantastic tool that allows you to post a question and get immediate feedback from students while they are learning. Utilizing the questions that you have found in School City, you can open Formative and post your questions. So go to GoFormative.com and log in using your Google ID. Then select Dashboard and New Assignment. Today we're going to be uploading a article from School City as well as a, as a question from School City. So I'm going to name my question here, which is Wild and Visionary, because that's the title of the article. And I'm going to select Add Content. Since I'm adding a text, I'm going to add text block, but you could add a picture or video. So the title of the article is Wild and Visionary Ideas. So then I'm going to go to School City where I found my article. I'm going to highlight the entire article. I'm going to select Edit and Copy. I'm going to go back to Formative, click in the box, and go back up to Edit and hit Paste. So right now, I have entered my entire article that I found in School City. 
but now I need to add the question. So if I scroll to the bottom, I'm going to select Add Question, and it gives me different types of questions I can add. In this case, I'm going to select Short Answer. So I'm going to go back to School City, and I'm going to find the question. I'm going to highlight it, go back to Edit, Copy, click on the Formative tab, select in the box, click Edit, and Paste. So now I have the article along with my question. Once I'm ready to assign this to students, I simply scroll to the top and click Assign. I can either assign this to a class or I can assign this to everyone. The Assign to Everyone gives me a quick code that students can log into by going to goformative.com backslash join. So once they enter the code into their iPad, they are able to respond to the question in any way that they would like. Take a minute to pause this video so you can explore Formative. In your current browser, go to File and open a new tab. In that new tab, enter goformative.com. From here, you can either create a new account or log in if you have already created one. When you log in, your dashboard will appear so go ahead and create a new question for students. And then when you have finished exploring and are ready to move on, select the play button to see how the results are collected. Once they respond, you are able to go to the live results page and see how they responded. So I am responding via my iPad so that you can see what it looks like through Live Results. So simply click Live Results. You can see the question and the article. And if you click Summary, you are able to see which students have responded and how they responded. It's as simple as that to take School City articles and post them into formative assessment to provide strategic questioning for students to elicit and interpret evidence to help guide them through their learning. In closing, when teachers use effective questioning, they continuously direct students' focus to important learning targets, helping them to assess where they are, where they want to be, and what they have to do to get there. Using technology to accomplish this quickly and effectively is a great way to ensure you can help stu students during their learning instead of after. Join us in the next module to learn how to use digital tools to interpret data.